as you will know, the Chancellor announced in his November pre-budget report that the standard rate of VAT would be reduced from 17.5% to 15%. This is to take effect from Monday the 1st December 08 and will run until 31st December 2009. It will then revert back to 17.5% from 1st January 2010. Essentially, this means that any sales invoices you raise for goods or services supplied up to the end of November 08 will bear VAT at the old rate of 17.5%, and those sales invoices for goods or services supplied from 1st December 08 will charge VAT at the new rate of 15%. The changes don't affect sales of zero-rated or exempt items. Now this VAT reduction could mean a huge headache to a lot of businesses in terms of admin, but if you're lucky or shall we say sensible enough to be running your business accounts on Sage, then there are only a few simple tweaks to make to your system and thereafter Sage will handle the changes automatically and will help you calculate your VAT return as simply and efficiently um, as always and as we've come to expect. So, in the next two videos, we'll be looking at what you need to do on Sage to deal with the VAT rate change, um, and we'll also discuss briefly some implications. Sage can actually handle any of the various VAT schemes available, but we'll be looking at the two most commonly used. VAT standard accounting, where you account for VAT based on the date of your sales and purchase invoices, and VAT cash accounting, where you account for VAT only when your sales invoices are paid and when you pay your purchase invoices or make your bank payments. Um, just a little word of warning here though, um, you'll still have to account for VAT at the old rate of 17.5% on sales invoices dated um, before the 1st of December 08, even if you get paid um, uh, on the 1st of December onwards. So this will affect any payments on account that you make or receive and we'll have a look at those in the next video. And in the first video we'll show you how to edit or reset the VAT or tax codes as Sage calls them. Uh, and in the second video we'll deal with resetting your customer and supplier default VAT codes from the old 17.5% to the new 15%. We can only advise you on how the changes affect your use of SAGE, but if you need any more information or help on other VAT schemes, for example the flat rate scheme, the Revenue has produced a helpful 44-page guide called VAT Change in the Standard Rate, and you can find that on its website at uh, hmrc.gov.uk. And there's a, a quick link to that on SAGE here, you go to web links um, and then down to HM Revenue and Customs, that will actually take you straight into the HMRC website.